In the United States, there's an epidemic going on. We have more fake Cuban cigars than we have real ones. In this video, I'm going to show you a foolproof way to distinguish between real and fake Cuban cigars. I'm going to use these Cohibas in front of us to show you how to distinguish between real and fake Cuban cigars. To do this the right way, we need one of these. This is an LED black light. Now remember, you have to get a 365 nm black light. 365 nm or 365 nanometers. The nanometers are the measurements of the wavelengths. That's a whole scientific ordeal. We're not gonna get into that now. Just make sure that you get the 365 and not any other. This method is extremely simple. This is the easiest way to tell if your Cuban cigar is real. However, this method only works with Cohiba and Monte Cristo. Right now, let's start with the Cohiba Pyramidus Extra, and I'm gonna show you exactly how the black light method works. I dim the lights so that we can see this a lot better. Here's where it gets super easy. All you do is you switch the black light on and you point it at the Cohiba band. You keep turning the band until you find the hidden numbers. The only way to see these numbers are with the black light. Now, here they are. You can see the numbers here. When I point the light directly at it, it's uh, not very visible, but when I point it you know, just a little bit off the band, you can see the numbers perfectly. These numbers only appear on real Cohiba bands. This was put in by the folks at Cohiba to deter counterfeiters because Cohiba is the most counterfeited cigar brand in the world. In addition to the numbers, you can see two squares on the band have a discoloration. This is an additional security feature to help distinguish between real and fake Cohibas. And of course, Monte Cristo has its own issues. We'll get to Monte Cristo a little bit later in the video. For now, I'd like to show you the other Cohiba bands. Now remember, this black light or UV light method, it's only possible with the newer bands. The older bands don't have this on them. As you can see, these newer bands have a lot more detail to them. There, there are a lot, a lot of little features, whether it's the hologram or the or the outline around the Taino head, the squares, all these little features were put in to deter counterfeiters and to make it harder for counterfeiters to sell us fake Cuban cigars. Here is the Cohiba Siglo 6. Uh, this particular Vitola is probably the most counterfeited after the Bahique, of course. Bahique is certainly by far number one. Uh, I must have smoked. 10 fake Bahike cigars before I finally got a real one. And this last one here is it's the Maduro 5 band. The Vitola is called Genios. It's the Maduro 5 band, but the size is Genios. There's also Secretos and there's also Ma Magicos or Magicos. This is the Genios. Uh, the folks at Habanos must have just said, hey, why don't we put the most counterfeited cigars all in one travel humidor and sell them to people? Now, if you take a look here, you'll see that the hidden numbers on this band, on the Genios band or the Maduro 5 band, the hidden numbers are located uh, elsewhere. Uh, all the other bands had them on the back. However, the numbers on this particular band are on the front, and it goes the same for all the others in the Genios line. That about does it for the Cohibas. I'm just gonna pack these away, and we'll move on to the Monte Cristos. Monte Cristos are very different from Cohiba. The bands are completely different. And while they may look like they don't have too many security features, I'm gonna show you now how we can distinguish between real and fake Monte Cristos. Monte Cristos, they don't have numbers like Cohibas do, but they do have something that can only be seen with a UV light. And if you Take a closer look, you'll see the letters M, C written on the back of the band. 
another great way for us to distinguish between real and fake Cuban cigars. This is a tremendous help to people that are buying Monte Cristos because the Monte Cristo band is also counterfeited. Well, that about does it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope I was able to help you. I hope I saved you some trouble. I hope I saved you some money, some time, some energy, some frustration. Make sure you get one of these. This is a 365 nanometer black light. They sell it on every website that sells black lights. This is a lifesaver, this thing. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.